what's going on guys welcome back to the third episode of the minecraft bedrock series today we're going to be building a mob farm that will give us tons of jobs i hope because i am running low on bones and string and every other job and also witch drops because it will also spawn witches and i also need bone for my flower farm that i'll be creating in this episode okay i know it's been about like three minutes and it seems super easy but this is getting super repetitive and it's getting super repetitive super fast stuff like that happens and i want to lose my brain and i also don't know how to calculate which dagger diagonal and place let's place that there oh no i placed it under oh no okay let's just head into a time lapse of this most boring task So guys, in this time lapse I'm going to talk about what design I'm using. So I use many designs, like, um, I've done obviously the same thing, it's just that I'm going to be placing a dispenser above the block. Wait, let's just wait for me to place it, because yeah, I'm going to grab some dispensers, I'm going to grab some observers, and then I'm going to try to sleep. And then I'm going to pick back up, eat food, grab a couple buckets, because obviously the buckets are going to flush out the mobs. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. Let's fly up. Yeah, my flying skills are pretty horrendous. <clears throat> so I placed the dispenser over the block because that get that that gives a more like radius for mobs to spawn. So I figured I'll try something new. So yeah, that's what I did. And I believe I saw this design on Slack Lizard, who's also another Bedrock YouTuber. So I I was. I was interested because I had only used the other designs <clears throat> and they weren't as efficient because um, the hopper timer, the, the hopper timer was getting like confused, it wasn't in sync, but this one it's in sync, it's efficient, there's more space for the mobs to spawn, um, it's expandable like the other one, you could make it go up or you could just build another one beside it, so yeah, go ahead and check Slack Lizard and tell them Thanks for letting me use the design, because it's just the, the best. I believe it's the best bedrock farm, bedrock mob farm, because the other ones, I don't, I don't like the other ones because you have to like place buttons. I don't believe that placing buttons isn't going to get the mob off like the platform as fast, but flushing them out might do it. Guys, I'm preparing for the moment. Where I'm gonna find tons of smooth stone in my chest. Or if you don't know, near my industrial district, there's a bunch of chests, and I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of smooth stone there. But I'm just gonna smelt it up just so we can have more. Okay, I ran out, and oh shoot, I hope I have enough because I really don't want to come back here and smelt more. It's a pain in the back. I really, I, yeah. You really don't want to smelt your cobblestone dispensers. And in this time, I'm going to go about a rant. I'm super mad that Java has more mechanics than Bedrock. Um, I'm, these are the main three things that I'm mad about. Dual wielding, so we could have one of our two of our tools in our hotbar holding it up so we could double XP repair. We don't. I don't even want it just to like use it, use the tool. I just need it just to repair my tools because it's a pain getting out one tool and then right after you're done repairing it, you have to grab out another one. I just feel as like switching, being able to hold two tools up and just having them repair at the same time might be easier for us. And we don't need to use it. There's no like extra button that will help like use the second tool. We just want it as XP, so XP farms will be much more easier to fix your mending tools. And then the next one is um, sweeping edge is a real problem. Good be useful for pigment farms and what's well, called guardian farms because right now we're gonna have to use healing potions splash potions which will kill the mobs in the 
the area, certain area, and then the final one is mob spawning. Please, Moje, make the mob spawning the same as Java. Our mob spawns are like super slow. Just like, just code transkip Java into C++. Just like, use Google Translate, I'm just kidding. Just translate it back into it. I, it's really confusing on when, when mobs are gonna spawn. If there's even pack spawning. And yeah, that's my main problem about Bedrock. And hope you can fix that. Hope that comes in the next 1.17 update. And if it does, then I'm gonna do, well, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna hang out and just make more Minecraft videos and not complain as much. That's just it, okay, guys? Okay, right now, um, I'm building a wall. I'm just kidding, okay, not a wall. I'm gonna building a giant roof. Cause the roof needs to be fixed. And if the roof isn't fixed, then it's not gonna be night. So I'm just gonna start off with a giant roof that'll keep this place dark all times. So I had some many failed attempts where I, uh, let's just say, yeah, I had a bunch of flying failed attempts too. I also built this like five times in my creative test world to see how many I needed, how many like slabs I needed. And uh, I forgot that you don't run out of materials in, that in creative, so I left that world and then I, I just I just yellowed it in this one. So I'm just gonna build the outline and then see how much more I needed because making things that are uneven really bugs me. And yeah, that's what I wanted to do in this time lapse. Build a giant roof that is even.
Oh okay, guys, I'm gonna AFK overnight at my creeper farm because I believe it is like 11 o'clock. So let's just head on to sleep. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next day. Okay guys, it's the next morning. I checked on my gunpowder. I got 12 stacks. So yeah, that's a pretty solid amount in case so I don't have to AFK next time. I fill out my rocket box. So let's quickly head on the roof and start placing some more slabs. Okay guys, in this time lapse, I'm going to talk about my YouTube channel. So, lately, I haven't been focusing mainly on my YouTube channel. So, if you enjoy my videos, I put a lot of work into them. It takes six hours to, like, nine, about three or four days to make one episode. Because I have school bouncing in, I have something else, I have Kumon, I have a bunch of other work that I have to do. So, please, please, if you enjoy, subscribe. If you want to stay up to date with these energizing videos where you can keep up and make some new friends with, well, with only me because um, I'm the only person here. So yeah, don't forget to like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you want to keep okay, up to date guys, with the Minecraft problem here. Dead Rock videos. Uh, I messed up about three times, but it's taking me about two days to finish this, so I'm glad about that. But the ring around here, I made it off camera because... Um, I figure that was super boring just placing blocks and, and destroying ice, so I, f I just didn't feel like it was necessary to be in the video, so I'll 